Hey, hopefuls. I hope you guys are doing great. So today I am doing a much needed inventory of my freezer. I won't do all the ins and outs of it. Um, my kids, I need to clean it off. Um, the ins and out of everything that I have, but what I'm doing is seeing what I have and then trying to condense it down so that I can have more space. So I'm gonna go through this freezer, lay everything out. I'm dreading this. I probably have to put on some gloves because my something I've been washing my hands so much, and then I put bleach water in my dish water, and it seems like my hands, I don't know, y'all, like a layer of my hands is uh coming off. I don't know, y'all. But then also my carpal tunnel is bothering me so bad. Um, I wear a brace at night, but it looks like I need to wear the brace during the day. So I can't really tell if it's my nerves. Or my, I think it's both my skin and my nerves. Okay. So, I'm going to go through the inventory in my freezer in my garage. I have this freezer, the freezer in my garage. And I have one over here on the other side of my bar. I just got that one. And I don't quite know what I have in each one. Well, I know, but I don't know, no. And that happened at the beginning of the pandemic when everybody was just like, kept buying things I didn't know quite was in there and I felt like I needed to make a meal plan so I also started making the meal plan I far as my um prepping stuff prepping prepping prepper stuff I feel like I don't need to really make a meal plan because I have learned to make a meal out of anything so grab a vegetable grab a starch add this to add that because I had to do that for so many years I had to go by what the food bank gave us or whatever um so but it's good to have an inventory to know what you have and then i want to do the meal plan so i won't kids start school i think next week so i just won't be pulling pulling out of my you know just pulling out of the hat y'all so let me see what i have in here i don't think it's anything in here that's old or anything and then um i'm going to go out in the garage I also want to do some vacuum sealing and I need to clean this fridge out. I really need to do that first, but I need to know what I have in my freezers. Okay, y'all. So that's a quick pan. I have in the freezer, um, a lot of the, some things, I didn't have a lot of things that I need to toss away. Um, some things are, you know, they're kind of lost in the shuffle or they already been open. Well, some things, um, the waffles, the simply, chicken tenders uh it ain't but two in here but i have to expect inspect these to see if they are okay or not some chicken nuggets stuff that we always go through every day because that's uh likes them some chicken tenders it's been open but it don't look like well yeah you can tell and then it's just a little bit of strawberries in here um some hot pockets this is another thing we used to have all the time and i think my kids are kind of um over it or they don't eat them as much. The sausage biscuit. These, I don't know, because I took it out of the thing, if these are still okay. I don't think they are. Some beef, um, not beef, <laughs> potatoes O'Brien that's been open. Some whole blueberries. Some more waffles. I think these need to be tossed. And I froze some lemon. So I think I'm gonna defrost these and put them in a garbage disposal there is a beef o potato why well, keep saying that potato o'brien uh i haven't opened i said i wasn't going through all this some pie crust some fudge pops these are all of the vegetables that i have i need to see if it's some in the other freezer um some butter so i'm going to organize it by the meats that i have and then um i think i'm gonna toss this they used to like these little patties but they don't like them anymore i think control and i are the only ones that like them this should have been packaged better and when i get a chance i pick up bacon as i go in the store um you know if i'm in there and i remember to get some bacon because i know i will be devastated <laughs> if i have any bacon for a long period of time um i've been picking up the blocks of cheese because these freeze well the shredded cheese actually freeze better but if you 
like I'm making a recipe or something. I probably should've got the big blocks, but the blocks of cheese, the only thing when these defrost, they crumble when you cut them. But um, if you're gonna add it to a dish, it's fine or something. Sausage, there's a rice that I had in there to freeze. I'm taking it out. Um, I had to look at this and see, I think it was a recipe and it was like too much of it. Look, it's freezer burn a little bit. And I have to look at this too. So that's everything. Um, I think what I'm gonna do in the other freezer, which I seen do it on a dime do, she used like reusable bags. And I have a ton of Aldi plastic bags. I do have some reusable bags, but I don't have a lot. I use them. I have a lot, but I use them, yeah. So I'm gonna use some plastic bags that I have um, and group the things together in a deep freezer. So I have to move fast. I already did clean it out. These down here are just like a lot of those cold packs and stuff. Um, I think this broke at one time. So it's, it's more room than my other freezer had, but they had a mess down there. A drop in, looked like it was ice cream or something. Um, it's still a little bit right there, but I'm gonna have to scrub it with uh, something. Okay, y'all, and then I'm gonna write down everything that I have. Okay, everything is out of the freezer. I got the boys to bring this stuff in. It was Jason's idea for them to put it in this cart, little shopping cart, but with the wheels, I couldn't get it through the um, laundry room door area because of my shelves and stuff. So we had to go through the garage and come through the house. Anyway, y'all, um, let me hurry up because I need, this stuff is defrosting. Um, so, so, so far, here's some wheat, honey wheat bread in here. I'm not writing this down on inventory because some things we just go through really quickly. So it's like pointless to even write it down. Um, and the vegetables and the strawberries. Okay, y'all, so I have everything laid out and now I feel so much better. Because some things I picked up, like at the beginning of the pandemic, you can obviously see, and it was at the bottom of the freezer, like the cube steak, um, some ground beef, some pork tenderloin, and I needed to, I just felt like I couldn't function. I used to remember every single thing that I picked up, every single thing that was in my freezer, but I, I just don't anymore. So I see how much ground beef I have. Um, we can go through that quick. Well... Yeah, no, and chicken. So that's the main things that I pick up. I do pick up like other stuff um, sometimes, but mainly it's either ground beef or it's chicken, chicken or ground beef and fish. Um, that's the main things that I usually cook on a regular basis. You can do so much with chicken, so much with ground beef, but a lot of things with chicken. All right, so the boys had some sausage biscuits. If they knew they were in there, I took it out of the box. Um, I just picked this up not too long ago. They would have killed it so i'm gonna put stuff like this in the other freezer that i can get to sometimes i put it in the other freezer out there so they won't demolish it because they will um but you know how your kids are or your husband are usually boys um they are kind of lazy and they won't like look through stuff so they also have some hot pockets i have some more vegetables some fruit i also was picking up some smoked ham so like these ham slices Sliced ham. Um, I may package this in another freezer bag, but thaw this out and you have sandwiches or you can put in an omelet or whatever. I didn't record this, y'all, um, but I froze some eggs the other day and I'm gonna freeze some more. So I put some in that freezer, some in another. I have some chicken breast, some french fries, some corn on the cob, some cinnamon sticks. Um, so now I know how many blocks of cheese I have. I didn't realize I was picking up so many rolls of the ground beef. Um, so this lets me know what I have, what I can meal plan, but we can go through this stuff really quickly if we are eating at home, <laughs> really quickly. Um, usually, what is this, a big two pound bag? I can, is that a two pound bag? I can, when I usually cook, the small bags don't work for us. I have to get one whole big bag. Usually when I cook um, with the ground beef, if it's meatloaf or if it's, I'm using the whole container. I, we, I can minimize it. And let's say we have a hamburger helper, cut it in half, because this is three pound, roll, three pound rolls. I can cut it in half 
and um, you know, portion it out for the hamburger helper. I don't think I do use the whole thing. I may use just about the whole thing. So it may be a little bit more meatier. Um, if I'm making chicken quesadillas, um, chicken parmesan, barbecue chicken, I usually use a whole bag of chicken breasts. And sometimes that's not enough. And I have to go find another bag and, yeah, and um, make more. Like if I want to make the stir fry, which I probably will today, because that's quick and easy, then I use a whole bag of chicken. Um, but to spread it out, I probably can use less meat. So, um, yeah, I feel good about this because now I know what we have. I thought I had more of these, but I must be pulling them out a little bit at a time. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then in the other freezer, y'all, there's nothing in there, but I think some couple of eggs, uh, some five pound bags of rice, like three of those. I'm getting ready to take that out. And some ice cream and a big box of waffles, which I'm going to take out and put in another bag so it won't take up so much space. So what I'm going to do is all the bags. Um, I'm an Instacart shopper, ship shopper, Postmates, everything. Um, not right now, but anyway, I have a lot of these bags. Some customers did give me these bags. Um, I did look at them to see. I probably will wipe them out to see if they are fine. Some of them are my extra bags though. Um, I may have maybe four from a customer, but I can tell they're mine because how they're folded. So these right here are folded. These other two right here, these here, I'm gonna have to wipe out. So anyway, I'm going to put like meats in one, um, vegetables in another, and then, of course, I'm writing down what I have. Yeah, so I can be a little bit more better organized. And if you have reusable bags, you can do that. Um, also, if you have bins, you can do that. So, I don't think I have any bins. I may. Now I think about it. I may have some bins. But I think I'm going to just do bags, y'all. I'm going to just do bags. And if I find the bins, then I'm going to do the bins. And the customers that gave me those, it was like last year in the summertime, if I have any, but I'm going to wipe them out before the corona even got to the U.S. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, thus far, I have all my veggies on the shelf. Um, it looked pretty here until I had to put stuff on the top um, here. So, the broccoli's in the back. I have to be careful what I put on this shelf because... Um, the air comes out of here, so it probably needs to be like ice cream. I think I did that one time. Ice cream or something like that. It's just the only things that when they see the ice cream, they go through it so fast. Um, not necessarily this, but if it's like a tub of ice cream, they will go through it. So I know what I have here, and I need to add more to it. I was debating if I'm going to put this in the upright freezer, freezer or not, but having it here... When I go through everything, I know what kind of containers I need to look for. I'm sure I probably have some around the house that I'm not using. I think I have some Dollar Tree, um, that die cut plastic. I've seen somebody do a video on it. Um, the hot pink ones, even though I don't really want the hot pink. The die cut file folders, or you put a file in it or papers in it. Um, I think I have two of those I can use and put in here. But I have to see if that's gonna do take you know be best for my space. I do have some other plastic containers that I just got from Target. White bins, I can put those in there. So the next shelf, um, this is just gonna be stuff that I can regulate. So stuff they always get all the time, like chicken nuggets, waffles, uh, fries, the sausage biscuits. Then over here, this didn't take as long as I thought. Um, I have chicken, ground beef, more ground beef, um, breakfast sausage, and hot dogs and sausage links. Then, um, yeah, I need to find a bin. Find a bin to put all these loose things in, or I can put it in a big freezer bag like that. And, yeah. Um, I have my vacuum sealer. I'm going to see if I feel like doing that today or not. All right, let me press on.
Now I'm all done, so it's not super pretty, um, but I know what I have in here and it functions. Well, I'm, I don't know yet, but <laughs> it should function. So right here, I have like the loose breakfast stuff up here. There are some corn dogs in here. And then I have some frozen fruit and some popsicles back there in the back. And there's some turkey sausage. And then this, this isn't loose though. I just took it out of the box. It's French toast. And I forgot that I even picked that up. And the boys probably didn't realize I picked it up because they don't really look. So all of this is veggies. Um, then this is all the loose stuff. So I guess I need to put the waffles up there. Um, all the loose stuff um potato o'brien chicken nuggets all that stuff and then down here are mainly like um i went by what i had more of how i divided it uh, this is like french fries which i normally don't have that many but i was trying to stock up different types of potatoes like french fries potato o'brien's the other potato o'brien's is here because it's open so i want myself and others to look in this area first and um yeah, I probably should have put it up here, but I want, they really don't look all the way down here. So I just want them to be able to see the breakfast stuff here. Then I put like the cheese and the cream cheese over here and the butter and cream cheese over here. So that's what I have so far. Let me take this stuff outside. So and put it in the other freezer. I don't have but a couple things left um, to put in that freezer. I do have some eggs right here and I'm gonna put it in the other freezer on the other. Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, so I did pull this container that I got from Target and put that in there and I have one more, but I don't know where I'm gonna put that. I guess I could have put the frozen stuff, but I was afraid it'd take up too much room. So hopefully this will fit because I don't have like a huge, huge freezer. It'll fit in, this, in these bags pretty well. Uh, so also what I wanted to do I put my permanent marker somewhere. Um, I went to write on the bags what it was, so I really jacked up there. But ground beef, um, hot dogs and sausage. I gotta go out here and write um, chicken on the other one. JJ did leave a couple of things in the freezer. It was a big pack of, it was um, chicken wings and then chicken drumsticks. And then the other one was like, I think a whole chicken that was cut up um, that would be great to like make um, some soup or something. So I'll make sure I put that on a meal plan and go on Pinterest and find those favorite recipes that I love um, to make. So I can make sure I have those things in my stockpile. And it was a pack of spinach and then also something else, y'all. Oh, another one of these ground beef. So I knew I had several of them. All right, y'all, so it worked out great. I still have some space, of course, because it's in bags. Um, you know, there might be like some odd spaces, but I have some space here, down in here. I did make a bag for bread um, and kind of put it upright. I couldn't fit that in there. And then I have like some space down in there, some space over there. So we don't have, I guess you can look at the lid and you kind of can tell we don't have like a super big freezer. We got this freezer um, off of Craigslist when Craigslist wasn't as bad. I ain't even been on Craigslist in forever. Years, years ago before we even moved in this house about, we had this freezer for about 13, 12 years. And I wanted to get one when I started couponing and um, I ran out of space then. And I only had, yeah, I still had two boys. I didn't have three. So this worked out great, y'all. So the ground beef, I did have to add another bag of chicken because JJ didn't tell, JJ left this in here. But it worked out great. So the upright freezer, I'm still freezing my rice. I have one more day and then that will clear up a lot of space. Um, I just got them some ice cream yesterday. They will probably heal that in a little bit and then I'll keep the ice cream in the other freezer at the top. Um, I froze some eggs. So I put the eggs in here. I need to put the dates on them. I just did this not too long ago. And then the other types of meat, I don't buy a whole lot of different different types of meat. Um, what's this pork tenderloin in the cube steak? I just stuck it in here for now. And I told my mom that I wanted to get some stuff and give her one of these shells to put her stuff in. And then 
Of course, I'm gonna take the five pound bags of rice out. These are tortillas. And then I'm gonna take this out of the box. That will make more room, the waffles, but they'll go through that really quick. But if I had to stick the waffles somewhere else, I can. So I may put, um, I'm gonna put more veggies in one. This is not even a full shelf. It's not as large a basket as, um, so maybe vegetables go down here. I'm not sure y'all, I'm not sure. And probably meat, but I'm not sure. But I know definitely more eggs will go in here. So that's it y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't mean to record this much de in depth, in depthness, but yeah. Once that rice, um, I give it one more day, it'll be 72 hours. I'll take it out let it defrost and then I will store it. So thanks so much for watching y'all. Bye.